Good day everybody, of course this is Brian Downing. Uh, in this video I am going to show you what is probably considered the nerve center of this trading system, at least for the first phase of it, focusing on pair trading and equities. Now, this script that I've developed that is available for my Quant Elite members, part of that also includes a walkthrough of 45 minutes of the entire script. I'm going to do a very high level uh, demo of it. I'm not going to get into the actual code. I'm just going to give you a bit of what we call a teaser on how it works and the benefit of it. All right. So first, I leverage in this Python script a lot of MongoDB. Now, if you come to my YouTube channel at quantlabs.net and you come under uh, playlists, what you'll find is a MongoDB NoSQL for persistence uh, playlist. Now, in here, there's a few things we need to uh, go through. Understand this GUI I'm going to show you, this front-end GUI, graphical user interface product, it's free. Um, basically, how to set up Mongo, how to launch your Mongo daemon. Uh, now, this is in a Linux-like environment, including Mac. Was 10 and how to insert, update, and delete the rows into a MongoDB equivalent table, otherwise known as a document, or actually it's a collection. So, what are we talking about here? This is the utility I'm talking about, the front end utility uh, called uh, Mongo Hub. It's free. Look for it. Now, I've shown this in this playlist. The database equity. I've now added a new database or new collection called watch list. And that's just a watch list of all the trading pairs that we're watching to ensure uh, that uh, we're waiting for the right time to get into the market and exit. That's what this watch list is all about. Um, so right now I'm gonna I'm gonna run both of these. Well actually there's two IDs we're gonna run. We've got our old pie chart, and I've gone on about the pie chart with the bad updates that can throw you off, but I'll show you the new um, IDE that I'm now preferring from these guys at Anaconda for data scientists, but this one called Spider, and I've talked about this before. So what I had to do is I've shown this similar scripts what I'm about to show you are found in this insert, update, delete in a Mongo SQL. But I modified them for this new collection called watch list. So if we're going to PyCharm, there's two specific uh, scripts we have here. Our remove, which removes everything, and our insert. Okay? Or sorry, our uh, list, everything that's in that collection, specifically our watch list collection. All right, not only that, but there's a special import and file that we use to initially populate that watch list collection to get started. And I go through the entire 45 minute walkthrough how to do that. That can also be seen uh, in this video, but this video will show you how to set up market data from Yahoo Finance but in my case, we have to also set up the data for our watch list. So I go through that 45 minute script that's available for my Quant Elite members, of course. So that's what we have here are these two scripts to delete everything or remove everything, same thing, and list all the available rows. So where are we at right now? If I run this, we don't have a whole lot of uh, nothing in our watch list database, correct? So what we need to do is do our Mongo import, right? So if I rerun this test Mongo, it's got one record, one row of that first table or first uh, data row that we need. So knowing that, we can now go into our other script, the watch list script, and I'm not going to go into any coding walkthrough at all, but I'm just going to run it. And what it's going to do 
it's basically going to do some queries, connect into the Mongo, uh, show what's in that particular row, and update week by week um, our current spread, there's a spread stuff, and some other fancy calculation. And it updates that row. So if I go back in that script that lists everything, I can list, I can rerun this. Specifically what will happen is it'll go week by week and update each week, trying to look for an opportunity on when to exit or ent enter the market. So if I rerun this script, the watch list, which should be maybe, depending on how you want to do it, you can run this daily, you can run this weekly. But you set a limit on how many opportunities of your periods that you want. In my case, I allow up to eight weeks. If we can't get an exit or an entry in eight weeks, we remove the row from our database and it's, re sorry, it's removed from our watch list. So that pair is no longer valid. So if I rerun this watch list script, and then I go back in to rerun from week two to week three, we know we're waiting for that opportunity to enter an exit. So three weeks goes by, and in my case, in the script, I've set a max weeks of uh, of three somewhere in here. Uh, well, I could set it to three weeks. In this case, eight weeks, right? So if I do that and set it to three weeks, because we know we're coming up, uh, yeah. Set that to three weeks. And I'm going to run it. So what we did here is we removed it. We're using the remove function, but we could use, as it says here, delete one or one or the other. But that's fine. But we don't care about that at this point. Go back into our script that will list all the available rows. Now it's been removed. So that pair has been removed from the watch list. That's pretty well how it works, but of course I go into much greater detail over, as I said, 45 minute video with this, with the bo both scripts for both this one, the remove, the import statement to get you started with the watch list collection in our QLN database, which is here, our QLN database and our watch list. And we're ready to go. And of course, as part of that, you get this script, the watch list Python script. That's all included right now in my Quant Labs Quant Elite membership. Come and get it.